Nintendo, I thought you gave up on being dirty after Kirby's Dreamland. Learned it for reference! Oh hey, it's like the first level of the first episode of Legend of Zelda the Animated Series. Yeah. I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> I think you were trying to make a joke, <laughs> and then you didn't. I, I did my best. Oh, Doom fucking three. It's an homage. I bet I know where I have to go. He just, just went up by five. He just levels up and ow. <laughs> Yay, you leveled up. You did a good job. I oh! lost everyone. One person fell on an accident, another one fell off when I tried to jump, the third one and another one didn't make it. They're all dead. Just goodbye. Just leave. I wonder if you can go to world negative one. Well, you know what? He went out in a blaze of glory. I respect that. <laughs> I have to. Oh yeah. I wanna go to world uh <laughs> Was it no one expects the, fa the Spanish Inquisition? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. I've never seen that movie, by the way. You've never seen Monty Python Search for the Holy Grail? I've never seen Monty Python, period. It's hilarious. I know. I've seen The Princess Diaries. That's not the same. Game and Princess Bride. That's not the same. Is it made by Monty Python? Which one is, which one is Princess Bride? I keep getting them mixed up. I put one of them is a Disney movie. Princess Bride? Oh, The Princess Diaries? Is that the Disney movie? Yeah, the one that's really shitty that focuses around a girl that's in high school that gets inducted into a kingdom who has no experience in being a queen at all. Okay, so it's Princess Bride. I think I've seen both of them, actually. Princess Diaries and The Princess Bride? Yeah. They're pretty much the same movie. No, they're not. My mom will kick your, <laughs> my mom will kick your ass. She loves Princess Bride. Everyone does. It's a classic. Hey! Have you ever heard of Eye Shield 21? Have you ever heard of Ishigo Kurosaki? You should know what Eye Shield 21 is. It's from the makers of uh, One Punch Man. You mean, um. Uh, can you do a very racist Mexican stereotype? And just have him be. It's just like the goal, but instead halt. Hero, young one! That's not Mexican, <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. I like matter. his eyebrows. <laughs> Yes, you! This is Bowser's a castle. Castle. Him and his burriness don't like chunks like you. Geeking up the place. You're about to get a compliment no shove. I'm gonna just go to see if my chef. If you're going to offend someone, so I'm gonna just skip through all of it. Yeah! Come and get some. Oh, oh yeah. What? <laughs> he didn't die. I wasn't anticipating. That was not. That was not something I anticipated. No, you were supposed to die. Damn it. Well, well. He just, you placed it down. Ow. You placed it down, and well, he handled the rest. And then I kicked it. You know, this is probably the worst event battle music in any Paper Mario game I've ever heard. Try out! I wasn't anticipating that. This is how you take care of them. Can... Oh, I guess you can hurt them. Yeah, this is how you do it in the actual one. Other Paper Mario. Drop on. Because you're regular, I can never do enough damage. I gotta do my thing! Oh. Hell yeah. <coughs> there he is, Warg. Uh, have you played Super Mario Sunshine? Mm -hmm. Do you remember his voice from that game? Uh, yeah, really shitty. Warg! Please tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair! That sounds pretty good. Is it? Yeah, I actually think that's pretty good. Hey! I know that stash from somewhere! Mario! 
and of course Peach and Princess Peach. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Why do you always have to do that? That's like the one hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up. Hard. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. How does he have this much power? Oh, because he's browser. No one's playing a guy chat. Trust me. No more sequels. <laughs> no more sequels. <laughs> Did he really say that? Damn it! Damn it! He got spikes. He's got spikes on his head. You gotta blow him up. I'll get him one of these days. I'm just phasing in and out of him. <laughs> I love Charles Martin though. I hope he never dies. One of these days, someone's going to get Bowser, and it's not going to be me. He's gotten smart. You know, my what biggest... a dumbass. My biggest uh, thing with a lot of the Mario games, like in Mario games, you never know what if you can or can't jump on Bowser. Yeah, like sometimes you can, like in Paper Mario 64. But they changed the rules in like Super Mario Cause fucking. Because he, like, he always has spikes. Like Wait. Mario and Luigi, you can jump on him no problem. Like that's how you fight in the intro of every game, but then suddenly they change the rules. And you okay, use you your be from the front, I'll be from the back. Mario! Mario. Good shit. Perfect time to test out that voice. Are you okay? Okay, you are! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, Princess Peach! My lovely wife! Wife, your, your wife. wife? What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? Wedding, that I'm not a wedding. was not a wedding. What are you doing here? Bowser, anyway, anyway Bowser? you're doing, you are what? <laughs> How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle. When all of a sudden, BAM! Me and my minions wake up and force down this fucking... <laughs> this fucking... <laughs> we find this awesome I mean, that was castle. The dialogue. And I thought, why not make it a lair? Bowser, well, you see, see Bowser. You well. We really need your help. Us with come why don't you with us? Don't lie, help you in. Me, really, really. Good job. Wait, what? Hi! Hi! Blah 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 blah! Black got us married just so that Karen's heart and destroy the world? Wait, how does Mario know that? That's a good ass question. I don't think it was ever explained, was it? To well, him? I mean, like, hang on, I think Tippy told him. Maybe. Hearts, yes, tears, and mind us, help to help, you need, need to help me, us why is that, and yes? And yes! <laughs> oh, no! Wanna. I don't wanna! Oh, that's like, yes, he said that. I don't think about it! I think about it if... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> please, Bowser, we all have come. This about big baby, 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 baby to you for time. Please. Please. You have, don't we? <laughs> Bowser, on come. On come. But, but I'm Bowser. I'm great in 100% prime cut steak. <laughs> no way I'm helping Mario. He's always thrashing my awesome plans. Me, boy, please. For me? No, I don't wanna. Hi. Hi. What did you say? If the world ends, there's not gonna be a world left for me to rule. I do like that basically every Mario villain that is at that Bowser. Basically, Bowser's always an idiot. I like how he's also threatening. I like how Bowser's sometimes a bad guy. Let and what will happen to your poor minions if you were caught by Count Black? Happen, well, and what man? They've been brainwashed. Now evil, they do you're this not evil bidding. Evil. His not do your now they brainwashed and made. <laughs> Master Merciless and have Cruel to toil under under different cruel cruel to have master. Well, minions do it now. But, but, why are you Murph Bog? Fine, I'll join your stupid quest. You happy? Oh, sweet, so you are Bowser. So you think, oh. No! I'm not sweet! I'm not having Mario just in a bunch of stupid worlds. 
He's the ultimate Sundere. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah. I'm only doing it so I can get a taste of your sweet nectar. I just do it because I want to. I want to love that mustache. That sweet, sweet mustache. Sweetie, big you, Bowser, right off. Oh, Bowser, you big sweetie. Ah! Where have you trapped me? <laughs> Where am I? Lord Bowser. You are credulous. What? Oh yeah, minions. Hold down the fort until I return. You're you're very safe with us, sir. Oh, sir, it seems Count Breck has. They're probably going to. Well, of course, we'd like to see you come along and defend you, but you know, we just uh get in the way of your heinousness. Right, what that count for? I think Koopa's had an decision, didn't they? Okay. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is begging for a beating. Uh, what about that guy from Sailor Moon? The thief. He wears glasses. I thought it was a monocle. No, he wears, like, spectacles. Oh, oh yeah, they are. Runga Riv King Browser. We'll uh, miss you, you're still in Oh, you guys. Fine, come on, let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. I said move it! Mario! Wow, they move really fast. Yeah, they move. Damn. <laughs> well, that was his contribution. Back to the fort. <laughs> Whew. After that, I think he needs a big old nap. You know, it's always so different depending on which side you're on. Because when he did that before, it exploded. <laughs> The fellow in the party in the three heroes made a most unlikely trio. He just attempted to explain the quest Bowser Bear made in grunting confusion. As Mario walked ahead, he spotted something that made him briefly stop and stare. Why is it Mario asked Peace as she turned to see the blue effect ahead? Great glittering waves at the top tile pool stretched as far as she could see, but ventures were somewhere across the water. <laughs> I like how you just fucking don't care. You just what? skip across it. Just read as fast as you can. Oops, oh boy. Oh boy. I can't breathe. <laughs> I like that it muffles his breath. Yeah. I like how his arms move 360 degrees. If you tried that in real life, your arms would break. You're killing your own minions. Nah, these are cheap, 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 don't listen to anyone. So, in all the water levels of like. Nah, they're just sea life that really hit Mario. In Bowser, apparently. Well, they're not attacking you. Nah, they're just kind of minding their own business on burning in the water. Do you remember that one really creepy level in Super Paper Mario? In Super Paper Mario? Yeah, the one with like the fucked up music. Had to be a... Oh shit! No! But if you heard it, you would know. It's in this game, though, right? Yeah. I think it's when you when you die. Oh, yeah, I know. Like story-wise, yeah. It's just like incredibly based off of just the river sticks and all that and death. Yes. I like how the, the coins move at like 4 frames per second. Like for a fucking N64 game that would be well animated. But like, it's 2016, dude. You want to find secret, but I guess I'm just not allowed. <laughs> That's because the pixel grid is visible in the 3D. They don't want you finding that. <laughs> that is the secret. Pixel grid is 3D. Hmm, pegs. I wonder what these could be used for. Oh, now I gotta go 3D. Hoo wee! Remember all those times you wouldn't let you go 3D because you needed to use Bowser? Yes. Well, now you get to use 3D. Yay. <laughs> Swear to God, if I have to switch back to Bowser. It pissed me off all the like, when I first beat this game, it pissed me off that Luigi was the final boss. Because I wanted to beat the final boss as Luigi. Yeah. So I'd like to point out now, if you're trying to avoid spoilers, just ignore everything Scott says. Just 
put up like a spoiler warning, just skip to two seconds ahead. Uh, every time Scott opens his mouth, just <laughs> skip. Well, shit. Wait, I have someone that can do that for me. I don't even need Boomer anymore. Shit! Boomer's made, been made worthless now. Wait. Teamwork! Hell yeah, good job, Boomer. They're the best of friends. Just make a sitcom about it. Boomer and Bowser, their names are similar. The end. End of sitcom. What would the theme song to Happy? They're Bowser and Boomer, they live in a house together. The end. <laughs> no, it's not too catchy, but you know what? It's a sitcom. <laughs> We're doing it for the money anyway. Oh no, I'm locked in here with a peg. Man, nope. I wonder if I'm going to have to learn how to do something with this peg. I'm kind of regretting not buying Phantom Hourglass now. I should have bought fucking Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story and that game. You know what? Shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. Yeah, well. Oh boy, Trapezoid. Uh, give him a cat voice. Like a Neko voice. Meow. <laughs> What do we be saying if I was Peach? <laughs> Meow. Just so you know, we don't care about the voice of these guys anymore. Because <laughs> they don't exist. The ground pounding pixel named Thud. His name is Thudley. Thudley? I didn't even know he had a name. Well, I knew he had a name. Him. Well, I don't remember him saying it. All he said was meow. <laughs> he used ground pounding enemies underwater. I don't. I don't even remember him. I kind of do. I, I basically don't. teleported to the ground. I sure did, then. Is he only useful for this part? Uh, no. He's used to find the next part that we're <laughs> And then he's useless. Like, that's one of the things I don't like about Super Mario compared to the other ones. And then the other ones, every point, it felt like they had a, a use. Well, on this one, they just kind of exist for one purpose. I mean, at least it has partners on, like, Sticker Star and Color Splash. Apparently, the paint bucket in Color Splash is a lot better than Kirsty. And I don't, I don't find that hard to believe because it's not hard to top a character like Kirsty. Okay, but is are they better than Pete? I like to be. So to die. But I guess that's just the fee you pay for playing Skyward Sword. That was the shittiest high five ever. It wasn't a high five, it was a side five. I slapped the side of your hand. You don't get a high five, but it's such a terrible joke. I thought it was pretty good. The drawing! Up, down, down. Up, down, down. So up, down, down, up, down, up. 